Pop, 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 persuadable. I'm not gonna lie, this is the second time I gotta do this video because I almost got attacked by a dog. It's a long story, I'll tell you later. So, anyways, what's going on, everybody? I'm in Arizona right now, and everybody knows that mechanic has just got some retinkering. She's been played with. <laughs> and that means, what does it mean? Wait, what? I don't know. We're gonna roll with it. So, you know, my job is to tell you guys how good this is, how bad it is. So let me give you a little bit of a background on Mechanic, right? So in Season 1, Mechanic was still uh, the best player to use in terms of tournament gameplay, okay? And then and the devs decided to nerf her or tinker with her. Well, actually, they nerfed her first, and then they tinkered with her a second time, okay? So she's she's been played with a lot. <laughs> so... The first tinker and what happened is that she had an 8% deb uh, eight percent global buff to everybody that increased their decode speed. That was season one. That got reduced down to 3%. And what they also did is that her 135% base value of decode, and that means that when no one's injured, she's not injured, etc. Um, they also buffed the puppet. So the puff puppet's uh, base value went to 125%. All right. So if that's kind of confusing to anybody, just know that um, the normal decode speed we consider at 100%, right? That's just a normal value. Like thief, magician, they decode at 100% value. Okay. That we call that normal. Female dancer would be at 90%, right? Forward would be at 80%, right? Because they have a 20% debuff or 10%, whatever one we're talking about. So mechanic, what's really going to be interesting with this mechanic uh, change is that mechanic is now not at 135 but at 125 so she's been nerfed by 10 percent and that's actually a really big deal it's like a really really big deal and it's going to be interesting to see what we see in terms of character diversity and the argument as to whether mind die is going to be more valuable and i'm going to try to do my best not to be biased because you guys all know that i'm a mind die fanboy right <laughs> bet you didn't see that one coming so the thing, though, what's really telling about this change, all right? So I, I put up the graphics real quickly a little bit further back into this video showing you that Mechanic is still the number one player in terms of banned to, to pick ratio, okay? It's at a 95% value. She's either banned or she's chosen in every tournament gameplay, all right? That was, I believe, from the Taiwan a tournament that was recently played and we see that replicated over here in the US. So it was extremely important for the developers to really tinker with her and to change her because it's important for character diversity. She's she's just as of now the most overpowered character in the game or was and that's telling by the statistics by the win rate by the ban rate by the pick rate i mean it's really not an argument the numbers back it up we can have opinions but they're irrelevant to numbers the numbers are are really telling as to how great she was. What's going to be interesting, though, is that that base value, right? So she used to be at 135% as long as nobody was injured. Now that's at 125%, okay? Her and her puppet are now going to decode at the same speed. That now means that Mind's Eye is the fastest decoder again in the game, okay? But what's more telling is that now when somebody is injured, she's, she's nerfed by 45%, right? That's always been there. But that now means that when somebody is injured, she's going to be decoding at forward speed instead of the priestess or the or the female dancer, rather. We should, we'll go with the female dancer. So before, she would decode at a 90% value, right? So if somebody was injured, that 135 is now debuffed by 45. That equals 90%, right? So she would decode as fast as any other character that had a 10% debuff. Now it's going to be at a 20% debuff. That literally means that when somebody is injured, she's going to be decoding with her normal character as fast as what forward does. That's a really significant change. That's a real significant change. And it doesn't necessarily mean that Mind's Eye isn't an S tier character. Let's not dichotomize it, right? Dichotomize means black or white, one or the other, right? It doesn't mean that now she's going to be a useless character. That's not the argument. But what's going to be interesting is if we're going to start seeing more character diversity. What are you more likely to have? A mechanic that is now at that 125% level and there's an incredible amount of time that you have to put the doll down and you have to relocate the doll. Remember, now that the cipher machines are slower in the beginning, there's an increased likelihood that you have to use your doll sooner than before the buff or nerf of, of decoding, right? So back in the day, before uh, decoding got its buff, 
or nerf rather, you could just finish a machine and then kind of put your doll down and the game was a lot faster. Now, because the game is slower, you got to put down the doll faster. You got to put it down quicker. There's going to be more relocation time of your doll in this game. And now you're not decoding as fast as what a mind's eye would. So it's going to be interesting to see if we start seeing mind's eye being played more. She offers vision. She can see through walls. She's definitely a better kiter than what, what mechanic is, but mechanic can also decode two machines at the same time. So I think this tinkering is absolutely necessary because character diversity is important. If a game lacks character di diversity, it dies. So it's important that we now have this argument who's better between mechanic and mind's eye. And it's going to be very interesting because mind's eye will be the more conservative option. No matter how bad your team is doing, she's got that 130% base value decoding. She's now the fastest decoder in the game. She doesn't have to worry about moving her doll. She doesn't have to worry about bad games. She, she's just as a static, simple, nice, easy way. She can use her cane. She can see cipher machines that's already been touched. So end game, she can actually end the game faster than a mechanic. If there's no voice chat communications, it's going to be very interesting. I want to hear what your thoughts are on this, ladies and gentlemen. I'm very, I think that she's still going to be used very very, very high rates, but I think we're going to start seeing Mind Die more now with this nerf, and that's really good for the sustainability of the game. Please let me know your own thoughts. Have a good day, guys.